awareness and control of consciousness can cross these spiral paths of time. In this video, I'll be recording an eight measure drum groove using the Seaboard Rise and Bitwig. And the first thing I want to talk about is just setting up Bitwig and the Seaboard so that they communicate with each other properly. We'll go to the Options and Preferences menu within Bitwig, and then to the Controllers tab. If you already see the Seaboard here and you've already configured it, that's fine. If not, you may have to add the controller manually, navigate to the Rolly folder, and choose Seaboard Rise. Once you've done that, you'll have to set the input and output ports. We'll set both of those to the Seaboard Rise. At this point, you also want to check and make sure that the pitch bend range is set properly. We can do that in the settings right here, and we see that our pitch bend range is 48. Say OK and get out of the preferences, and then go over to the Rolly dashboard and make sure everything's set up properly there. When you're working with the Bitwig built-in devices, they're all MPE compatible, and so we want to set up the Seaboard to be sending that type of data. We'll put it in channel mode multi with MPE on and a channel range of 2 through 16. And we want to make sure that our pitch bend range matches what we set in Bitwig, and that was 48 semitones. Let's go back to Bitwig, and we'll make our first track, and we're going to add in a drum machine. So I'll click this plus to add a new track, and we can choose a device immediately. I want to use Bitwig's drum machine. So I'll choose the Bitwig folder, and we see we have drum machine as an option right here. We can show our devices if they're not visible. You can switch the bottom row in Bitwig between showing note information or you can show the devices. I've chosen to show the device panel, and in the lower left-hand corner of the drum machine that I just created, we have a folder icon which will allow us to find a preset for the drum machine. I'd like to make kind of an acoustic style drum pattern, and so I'll use the acoustic tag, and the mongrel kit looks good, so let's grab that. Immediately, I should be able to play the Seaboard and play some drum sounds. If you play the Seaboard and you're not hearing sound, it's probably because you're in the wrong octave. If I had set this down two octaves and I play, I'll hear nothing. It's receiving MIDI messages, but we're out of the range. We're actually below the range of the drums on this drum machine. So if I go up two octaves, I'll have my drums, and usually you have kick and that low C on your Seaboard. When I get ready to record, I'm going to hit the record button will be in record arm mode. I don't need to record automation, so I'll turn that off. And I want my click track on, so I have a nice metronome, and I'll set my tempo where I want it, which is going to be 87 BPM. With that, I should be ready to record a drum groove. Let's try it out. Kind of like that. My performance was a little sloppy though, so let's go in and edit the notes and make it perfect. One of the big benefits of Bitwig is all that expression data goes in and is attached per note. Other DAWs attach that expression data to the track itself, so we had to be very careful to move the notes along with the expression data. But here in Bitwig, a lot of that data goes in on a note-by-note -note basis, making editing really, really easy. Let's see what it looks like. I'll click on the region, and that opens up my MIDI editor, and I can see the individual notes, and I also see these lines where I played those dramatic dives on that cymbal. Kind of an odd sound, but I, I kind of dig how it sounds. I also noticed that one of those I played on the wrong pitch, so I can make sure that nothing is selected, and I can drag that pitch down to the correct note. I can also correct my timings by quantizing everything. So I'll select all my notes, go up to Edit, and Quantize Time. Let's hear the performance now. Sounds pretty good, and I'm ready to add some bass to this. So we'll go through a similar procedure to add a bass track. I'll click the plus sign here to add a new track. I'll be using Bitwig, and this time I'm going to be using the sampler device. So I'll find sampler in this list, double click, which will add the sampler. Again, I need to show the device pane 
So I'll click on my devices. We see our sampler device here in the lower left-hand corner of it. We have a folder icon, which allows us to browse for a sampler preset. Again, I want like kind of an acoustic sound. So I'm gonna click on the acoustic tag and I want kind of an upright bass sound. So let's see what we have here. How about sneaky acoustic bass long? As soon as you click on it once, you can preview the sound. It responds really nicely to the seaboard right out of the gate, which I, which I love. We can hit OK, and let's see if we can add some bass to this. The same procedure, we're gonna rewind. Uh, you can click on the stop button to rewind. I'll record enable the project, and I will turn automation record off. I still have click track on, my tempo set the way I want. Let's get a uh, count in and go. And that last little bit would have been an impossible on an acoustic bass because I went a little below the range, but that's all right.